increasingly, I have started to find that fine dining restaurants are serving more and more caviar onto their menu. So it's quite possible that you are going to be offered the opportunity to enjoy caviar. So what is caviar? Quite simply, it's fish roe. It's the eggs. And um, there are three main species that you would want to try and that are quite ubiquitous and all over the world. They are Seruga, Ocetra, and the third one, Beluga. Some of you may be scratching your head and thinking, oh, he said all over the world. You must be thinking, no, that can't be true. It's got to be from the Caspian Sea. It's renowned, it's synonymous with Iran, with Russia. It's in that area. So how can it be all over the world? Well, there has been a moratorium on caviar for a number of years now. So the caviar that you are actually tasting in the restaurants are farmed. And it was quite a surprise initially because when we were doing our research for the caviar courses that some of you will take with Apoisi, you will learn all about how the caviar is made, how it's processed, the different styles and the different ways to eat it. I will just share with you today a very small portion of what's in the course. But yes, caviar is farmed and it is not only in one particular location, it's farmed all across the globe. From Canada to Madagascar to the United Arab Emirates to Thailand and many other countries, it is now a big business. So, you may well see tins like this, or this size. Most likely, if you go to a restaurant, they will offer you perhaps a 50 gram tin, and that should be, unless you have a gargantuan appetite, that should be enough for two of you. The question is, how should you eat caviar? several ways, and I'm only going to share one of them with you. The caviar will come in a tin, they might open it for you and um, place it on a bed of ice, or they might even be a little bit more luxurious and uh, give it to you in this particular uh, bowl. Now can you see here this is a mother of pearl, mother of pearl spoon. Another method is you might get the mother of pearl spoon. So when you're going to try, if this was the common bowl, you would scoop some up, place it on, notice the, um, the plate that we're using, nothing must be metallic. You don't want metallic because that will change the flavor and some claim the texture of the caviar itself. So you will basically scoop it onto your plate and you might use your, your own uh, onto your own spoon and then pop it into your mouth. Now when it's in your mouth, slowly with your tongue, raise it to the ceiling, to the mouth, to the ceiling of your mouth with your tongue. And then you will gently break up 
the caviar inside. Now, you've heard the sensation where people say, oh, I heard that popping, that wonderful popping sound. Well, that popping sound was created when there's the additive called borax, not the toxic, but it's the borax that they add to the caviar, which gives it an extended life. And there are some countries that don't allow that. So if you don't get the popping sound, when you gently caress the caviar up to the roof of your palate, don't worry, because it's still perfectly fine. Now, one of the things I do want to share with you is you might see the word malisol. Now, malisol is a Russian word that means lightly salted. And in my estimation, and my own preference, I like malisol caviar. Why? Because there's a balance between the texture, the flavor, and keeping the longevity of the caviar by slightly salting it. So malisol means is between 3 to 5% of salt. And that is what they call the golden ratio. Now, does it go above 3 to 5% in terms of the salt additive? Yes, of course it does. But the more salt you put, the lower is the quality of the caviar that you will be receiving. So, personally, if you were to ask me for my recommendation, it would be go for the malisol. So, just to recap, don't forget, mother of pearl, never any metallic type of utensil to eat it with. Now, there's many ways that you can pair caviar. One of them could be vodka. Now, vodka, as you know, is a colorless, odorless, hard distilled spirit. And uh, it can be made from literally anything. That's why it's often used um, as the base spirit where they can add different flavors. It is the perennial favorite of having vodka and caviar. But there's also champagne or sparkling wine. So I wanted to share with you, I have a bottle here. It's from one of the most well-known, well-recognized wineries near General Alvear in Argentina. It's called Bianchi. Originally, the owners came out from Italy, and there's a very large Italian immigrant population in Argentina. I had the pleasure of visiting this winery and had a personal tour from the winemaker who was very, very kind. They stopped the entire production for me to allow me to pop off the cap and place in the cork for this bottle. And that's why it has lasted a long life with me in my cellar. It has that memory for me, which is far more valuable than the actual taste that I might enjoy from it. So that is Bianchi. Now, is this champagne? No. And why not? Because champagne can only come from Champagne, France. Now let's look at this big boy. Schramsberg. You'll note here it says Blanc de Blanc. Blanc de Blanc means that 
This bottle of sparkling wine has been made only with Chardonnay. There are three main grapes that they use to make Champagne. That is Pinot Noir, Meunier, and the third Chardonnay. So when you see Blanc de Blanc, what it means is they've only used white grapes. And in that case, it can only be Chardonnay. So Schramsberg, if you've not been there, is in the Napa Valley region. And uh, it's very unique, actually, in that their pedigree, that since the time of um, the late Chairman Mao and late President Nixon, it was the bottle of sparkling wine that they have used and that they have used until recently every single time that the Premier and the president of those two countries met, there would always be a bottle of Schramsberg. So when you have the chance to visit their cellars, you will be able to see on the wall, proudly displayed, that is the history and the heritage of this great winery. Now, is this champagne? No. because it's not from France. But this is Dom Perignon, the famed gentleman, priest, friar, abbot, who came from Auville in the area of Champagne, France. And this is a 2003 vintage. And what does that mean, vintage? Well, it means that all the grapes made, used to make this particular bottle, all came from a particular year. So you can see that. Unique, simple, majestic. This has favored the tables of the famous. It has favored and been the witness of many memorable occasions. So out of these three bottles, for those that are not familiar, you might think they're all champagne, but they're not. Only this bottle is. I want to bring your attention to one other very important aspect. Do you see there's a rather extended foil that comes down. You see? Now, for you as a consumer, you cannot see where the liquid actually is. Does it stop here? Does it stop here? Or does it stop here? You can't tell. And there's a reason why. It's because the method of which champagne and sparkling wine is made it's often not that possible to be so accurate that every single time you will have the same amount. So this is what they actually do to give you that impression that it is standardized. So it's quite possible that one bottle to another may be slightly off, but being meticulous professionals they are, it's unfortunate, there's no other way. It's not like a standard bottle of wine where they have that optical line measurement which automatically with very modern day um, uh, bottling facilities, they, they have that um, optical line and once the liquids reach the levels that are required, they stop. Can't do that with the methodology of how sparkling wine is made. So I hope that gives you some sort of insight into the different options that you have. So I've told you about vodka. Could you pair it with sparkling wine? Caviar? Absolute must. You must try it at least once in your life if you can. And uh, 
You know why? Because I believe you deserve it. At least once. Why not? And I say, why not all the time? I hope you've liked the video, and if you have, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.